doctor can listen to your heart by means of a stethoscope. You can listen to your own heart with a cassette recorder. Here's what you do. Take the microphone from the cassette recorder and place it in a position on your chest about 10 centimetres to the left of that little dent in the middle of your chest. Press the microphone in gently and then switch the cassette recorder on. And if you're in a very quiet room and you're very quiet yourself, you may hear this. But you'll have to be very quiet indeed to hear it that clearly. There are other ways you can listen to your heart or somebody else's heart. Take a cardboard tube about 20 centimetres long, place that over your chest in the same spot and get somebody else to listen that end and they'll hear your heart beating or you can put it up to your ear and listen to the other person's heart. Now when the heart beats it's pushing blood out to all parts of your body. It goes out via the arteries and back via the veins. It goes out in pulses or surges and you can feel those pulses if you put your finger on certain parts of the body. Here's one of them, your wrist. Place your wrist over a large book or a basin and let the fingers lie on the table so that everything is very steady. And then take two fingers from the other hand and press down gently in the wrist region. Aha, got it. I can now feel my pulse. You can't feel anything and you can't see anything, but I'll show you my pulse in a moment. What I need to do is to magnify the tiny movements that are occurring in my wrist right now. Here's what I'll do. I'm going to use a lever. That's a very simple lever. It consists of a matchstick attached to a drawing pin. I steady the drawing pin first of all and then push the matchstick down onto the point. There it is there. Believe it or not, that is a lever that will enable you to see my pulse. Here's how I do it. Wrist back in the same position and this time I'll see if I can balance that drawing pin on top of the spot where I could feel my pulse. I think that's it. Yes it is. Look at that. You are actually seeing my pulse. Let's count it. I'll see how many beats in 15 seconds. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one. Fifteen seconds is up. Twenty-one beats. How many beats in one minute? Fifteen seconds multiplied by four. Twenty-one times four. Eighty-four. That's my pulse rate at present. Now there are other ways you can magnify the pulse rate. You don't need a matchstick and a drawing pin. Here's another little, little device which I've made. Have a look at that. A one centimetre square this end and a five centimetre point the other end. Bend it so that the point sticks straight up in the air. Now it looks a little bit like the drawing pin with a matchstick and you use it exactly the same way. First of all, find that position on your wrist where you can feel your pulse and then balance the whole device on top of that spot. And if you do it carefully, once again, you'll be able to see your pulse and count it if you like. And there are many other devices you can use to magnify those tiny movements. Here's another one that I've made with a piece of plasticine and a long, thin satay stick. It's difficult to balance, but when you do balance it, it moves quite a long way. What I'd like you to do is see if you can make up your own little device for magnifying and showing your pulse to somebody else.